This is a quick overview of a system for playing around with head track spatial audio for anyone that doesn't need to make use of a video. Um, so this is just for the audio side of things. Uh, the system uses the head rote receiver, which is a hardware software system. The hardware is a teensy board uh, with a daughter board added on. It's about $40 in parts and takes about 15 minutes to assemble. I'm working on a Bluetooth modification for this, but for now we'll just use the, that system. And this is uh, the software. I've adjusted it slightly for use with Reaper. I think the Headrope team on the newest release has actually added in some scaling features for DAW as well, so you can check out their GitHub to get the latest release from them. Um, again, this is a quick overview, so uh, if you're interested in more about more details about setting up OSC for your system, you can look at these instructions here. Um, but let's open up the software. So my headphones are connected. Um, so if I turn the head tracker on, it should auto discover and do a quick calibration. Um, now the effect is, effectiveness of this head tracking is uh, dependent on a good calibration. So the first time you go through this, make sure you run through the full calibration procedure. Um, I'm going to open up the OSC settings, leave everything at default for now. I'm just going to turn off this offset feature and we'll talk more about that in a moment. And I'm not going to go into any of these details for the head rope receiver. You can play around with them. Um, but we'll just minimize this. And I'll open up the default uh, spatial workstation template. So there's this control plugin track. It has the control plugin. As you see, it's not getting any head tracking information because it's looking to the video for it. So if we go into OSC settings, I have a control surface here with the settings that reflect uh, the port number and a configuration file that I've included in the download folder for Hedro just uh, to pare down the amount of OSC messages it's sending out. Um, I've also already mapped the roll, pitch, and yaw parameters here to the OSC messages. So look at the instructions if you're curious about how to do that. So when I enable it, you can see the head tracking follows here. And I can choose to transmit uh, different features one at a time, or all of them at once. Now let's look at this offset feature. Um, doesn't seem to do anything right now, but I'm going to turn this on. And the first time you use it, I think you have to leave focus and come back to it, um, but you won't have to do it after that. So now if I add, say, a 90 degree offset to the left, even though my head's looking straight ahead, um, I'll be able to explore that kind of audio territory over there and come back to the center all of these parameters are adjustable um, and so if any of these tools are useful to you go ahead and download it play around with it modify it and have fun